Hello plant people, welcome to Veracent. I have an unboxing video for you today. I have my little plant helper right here. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Eating her lunch. I've got, let's see, an order that took a while to get here. Um, yeah, and it has plants. Yes, it does have plants, you're right. This is an order from Tennessee Tropicals. I, my husband got this for me as um, one of my gifts for Mother's Day. This is super sweet of him. And I, it's something, Tennessee's Tropicals was established in 2018. So they're fairly new. Um, you can find them online, I think TennesseeTropicals.com if I remember right. I'll put their a link in the description. I should have looked this up before I started the video. I'm trying to remember how much I paid for this. Hmm. I don't recall, but if you go to their website, you can go and look it up. Yeah. Something to be aware of is uh, when you buy through their online store, you have to pay taxes as well as shipping. Um, I ordered this. Uh, I don't know if it was part of the Mother's Day rush, but they're a small, a small business that's recently started. Uh, it was about two weeks before it shipped out, and then I think it, all in all, even though obviously this was sent primary priority mail today, it took about a week to get to me once it did ship. Um, so just something to be aware of. I know a lot of people expect things to get lickety split, you know, when they uh, order something online. But I think you have to remember to have some grace, have some patience with small business. And, you know, I don't really mind waiting. Um, especially for good plants. <laughs> Plant mail is the best mail to get, I can tell you that. Beats bills and all the other things that you get in the mail. Plant mail, I, personally, I think plant mail is the best. So, anyways, it's just something to be aware of. And I, personally, I don't think of it as a negative. I uh, So, but it's something I wanted to let you know. This is my first order from Tennessee Tropicals. They have quite a lot of... Um, plants on their website that I would love to get but this is my first so let I just I've already cut it open here a little bit Let's see it looks like I've got some packing peanuts I've got certificate from the Tennessee Department of Agriculture here certifying it I believe Mm, they must have pretty strict rules in Tennessee. And, or maybe it's Arizona, I don't know. Also got my invoice from them. And as you can see also, uh, this got beat up quite a bit. Um, so I'm a little bit worried about my plant, but I, I don't put any fault on Tennessee Tropicals for this. The, the vagaries of open, of getting <laughs> plant mail is also, you know, sometimes your box is going to arrive a little banged up. So we'll see what happens. Oh, let's see here. Look at these. Packing. Peanuts. Out of the way, and maybe I'll be able to. Oh, thank you. Maybe I'll be able to get it out. pull it out. Oh, I'm kind of worried though. Maybe I shouldn't pull it out. Maybe I should open it this way. No, I'm gonna open it this way, but thank you. I have small little hands, I can fit my You do have. Small little hands. Mommy's worried about damaging the leaves. I can. Whoop. 
Okay. Ooh, I'll shower up yet. Looks like it's been wrapped in some paper here. Oh, it's a little bit of soil that's escaped, but I'm sure that's from the rough handling of the box that it was in. Okay. Oh boy. Yes, this paper got torn. You know, it was taped up probably from all the banging around poor thing experienced. Sorry. This is really cool though. It's got tape around here. Thank you for holding that steady for me. Welcome. It's my nice little plant helper helping me out. Oh goodness. No. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's just open it up here so I can show you guys what I actually got. A Calathea orbifolia. Oh. Poor thing. It's quite a fair bit of soil that got knocked out of here, but not to worry. I'll be, I'll be uh, salvaging what I can from what's been run out here. It looks nice. And she looks nice too. Nice plant. I cannot get this Calathea anywhere locally. Yeah. I've actually wanted it since I saw it on um, Tropical Plant Addicts channel. She has a huge Orbifolia. Best one on the internet really, I'm sure. Uh, I'll link her channel in the description. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out. She has amazing plants indoors and out, and her orvifolia is gold. <laughs> I should be so lucky, I'll just put it that way, for mine to um, grow into something approaching the beauty of her specimen. Um, but anyways, yep, here we go. My daughter's busy pulling the tape away. Careful, careful. And... Come on. Come on, tape. Careful. Ah, it came so strong. Yeah, it is strong. It has to be strong. Look what the box went through. I am probably going to baby this orbifolia a little bit and instead of keeping it Whoa. down here with the rest of my Calathea. I think I have one Calathea upstairs. I have my Freddy upstairs in my master bath. I think I'm going to put this one upstairs for a little while and give it some ideal conditions. These leaves. I think mm -hmm. I read somewhere that these leaves can get up to 22 inches across. Yeah. I, or some something really big. I think it that grow big when it I think they plant that grow tiny big when if we take good care of their plant. I yeah. think it, I think if we that grow tiny bit more I definitely get we that grow a little bit big. Yeah. Yeah. Because they plant like look a tiny bit a little bit dirt day, like dirt all day everywhere on the table, and and they get wearing mama. It's okay, mommy. Sister. Mommy can. And mother like take good care of it when her done taking like doing a video. Yeah, I'll take care of it when I'm done doing the yeah, video. Yeah, and I hope mommy. Thank you, honey. All right, so. 
That's my unboxing for you guys today, this Orbifolia. I'm going to put it in my master bath. Probably going to keep it there. I don't know. I guess it depends on how big it well, it doesn't depend on how big it gets. This is like Calathea royal to me. royalty to me. <laughs> I've had my eye on this plant for months trying to find a good source to get it. And so I finally got one from Tennessee Tropicals. I actually follow them. They're also on Instagram. And whenever they put new things that come available again on uh, their website, they put a message up on Instagram. So if you want to get something from them that they're out of stock on, I recommend also following them on Instagram and so that you can get a heads up when they put new things up on the website. Recently, they've even started posting how many they have available and when they're going to be posting them. And I recommend that if they do that, you jump on it. Um, and I've literally set a reminder for myself so that I can get online at the appropriate time because their stuff will sell out in one to two minutes or less. So you've got to be quick on your ordering and finalizing your order online if, if it's something that you think that they, uh, the likelihood of selling out is high. Um, mm -hmm. So just a heads up on that as well. But yes, I'm quite happy with my order from Tennessee Tropicals. I'm really happy to add this Calathea. Ooh, look how big that leaf is. I'll help you in just a second, buddy. How big this Calathea is, and I hope I can do justice by it. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Love each other and love your plants. Yep. Bye. -bye. And great to fly, Mama video. And <laughs> one more thing for the the plant is time to get messy all over Mama's table. That's okay. We'll clean it up. All right, plant friends. We'll catch you later.